There are more than 400,000 NCAA student athletes. NCAA on campus is their story. On this edition of NCAA On Campus, we visit Washington University in St. Louis. The school was established in 1853 and has developed into one of the nation's highest ranked academic institutions. Francis Field, home to the school's football, soccer, and track teams, was the main stadium for the 1904 Summer Olympics. Our story today is about Marilee Fisher, a three-time All-American volleyball player and an outstanding student majoring in chemistry. To tell us more, here is Matt Tracy, a pitcher and captain on the baseball team. Welcome to the home of the Bears, Washington University. We compete in NCAA Division III and are a part of the University Athletic Association, the most expansive league in Division III. Our closest conference competition is 280 miles away at the University of Chicago. Our farthest, 1,141 miles to Brandeis in suburban Boston. But we don't mind the traveling. Our teams have won 151 conference titles since the league was created 25 years ago and 19 NCAA national championships, titles in women's cross country last year, women's basketball five times, most recently in 2009, men's basketball in 2008 and 2009, men's tennis in 2009, and then there's our women's volleyball team with 10, count them, 10 national championships, the most recent in 2009. Mary Lee Fisher was a freshman starter on that team and she hopes to give the school one more championship in this, her senior season. Winning the national championship my freshman year was unlike any experience that I've ever had. It was just, there's no words to describe it. It was incredible. We begin each season with the national championship as a goal. I don't think it's a cavalier statement, simply because we've done it in the past. Once we establish that goal, we then have to decide how hard we have to work, how much we have to improve to achieve that goal. Mary Lee is a two-time captain and three-time All-America. Her role on the team is critical. As the setter, she's the team's quarterback. It's point guard. I don't know if there's a more demanding position from a strategical, a technical standpoint than the setting position. She has to make decisions on the run. She doesn't have a chance to sit down like a quarterback does and go into a huddle or read a defense. She just makes the decisions on the fly and does a great job. She's a phenomenal setter um, and has really been um, a leader on our team in terms of providing a consistent level of play. Mary Lee Fisher is the best teammate. She is always confident, which is something great to have on the court with you. There's not a day where I don't feel like she gives 100%. Great setters are really accurate, and they also make good choices. What that means is setting a ball that allows your hitters to be successful in terms of the block that they're going against and the defense they're going against. I see a lot as a setter, I see a lot of the other team's weaknesses and a lot of what we can target as an offensive team. My strengths on the court are staying poised in any and all situations and helping make sure the team stays poised in any and all situations. There's no doubt that you know Mary Lee's uh, intelligence is an incredibly important aspect to her success. You know, we tell our setters they have to be uh, Dell, Apple, Gateway, they have to be computers. We run a rather sophisticated offense and the opportunity that she has to make decisions is a very short-term decision time. Coach may want a computer, but Mary Lee is a chemist with a 3.55 GPA and academic All-America honors. Chemistry is her major and it's in her blood, literally and figuratively. My interest in chemistry sparked because my father is a chemist and my brother is a chemist and my mother is a chemical engineer, so something might run in the family. It even runs in the admin building at Washington where the chancellor likes the essential elements he sees in Marilee. Being a chemist myself, I really admire the fact that she's majoring in chemistry here at Washington University. Chemists have solutions, and when chemists are posed a problem, they can come up with good solutions. I do see myself solving problems on the court, and I think that the hard work that I have to put into my academics definitely correlates to the hard work that I put into my athletic endeavors. and. You don't succeed unless you put hard work into it. She is somebody who we come home from practice and it's 10 at night and she's got the books open, you know, um, until 2 in the morning or whatever time it takes to get the, get the job done. It's challenging being a student athlete at a D3 school. Being a chemistry major, I have to spend a lot of time in the lab. It's time consuming, it's tough work. 
I asked her what it was like to be a student athlete, how she faced those challenges, and she really impressed me because she responded by saying that she came to Washington University specifically because it placed such an emphasis on academic achievement along with athletic prowess. My goal in life has always been to somehow help people. I don't think I'm cut out for emergency room work or being a doctor, but in the pharmaceutical industry, there's so many different ways where you can still impact patients' lives and help people and save lives. It's a very rewarding line of work. I had the opportunity to go D1, but the balance uh, that WashU offered between their academics and the athletics was unmatched by any other school that I was looking at and the athletics here are incredible. I was unaware of Washington University's successes in volleyball, but I quickly learned that we were a very elite program. It's wonderful to keep that legacy going. Being a part of the volleyball team and being a part of such a great family is also incredibly rewarding and I wouldn't have it any other way. It's tough work, but I love it. The Washington University Bears have had the pressure on them all year, ranked number one since the start of the season. The pain of bowing out early the past two seasons is what motivates Marilee and her teammates. Losing in the regional finals last year was devastating. It wasn't, it wasn't how we usually played and it wasn't how we could have played. Definitely has motivated the girls this year and um, the, the girls who know how it feels to have your dreams cut short and the returners for this year are just coming out guns blazing. To give Washington University their 11th volleyball championship or to be a part of it is my dream. It is my senior year dream and it's my class's dream as well. Good luck to Marilee Fisher and the Washington University Bears in St. Louis. You've got a history of success, you've got the student athletes and now you have the chemistry. Thanks to everyone for watching NCAA On Campus.